Well, let's see what she's up to today. There's bell peppers out of the garden and onions. Bought some uh, garlic, because we didn't have any. There's some uh, Hungarian hot peppers. But she's going to get this stuff all cut up, because today she is making blender ketchup. And after you give me a bunch of tomatoes again. So, got the kettle over here getting ready. So this is called blender ketchup because you get everything chopped up, put it in the blender and kind of grind it up and uh, then we'll put it in the big kettle and cook it down to get the right consistency. And I'll share the steps with you and the spices we're using. And we're adding a little to it. Doesn't call for garlic, but we're gonna put a few cloves in. All right, she got her handy dandy uh, blender out, the ostracizer. And she's chopping stuff down small enough to go in there. She'll fill it halfway, maybe two thirds of the way, and then grind that up. I'll put it over in the big heavy bottom kettle. Now this kettle, it has a real thick bottom on it, so it disperses the heat real well. We like it. I'll, I just went up in the canning room and got it, but our water to skin our tomatoes is coming up. So we'll keep moving along here. We work on getting the ground all up there. Well, she's getting the tomatoes skinned and uh, cored and dumping them into the blender and blending them all up. And over here, this is the last of them. So she makes a lot of noise. There's the last of them in the pot. There's the ketchup getting started. We already pareed the uh, peppers and onions up and some garlic, so it's in there. And uh, I'll come back and show you the spices that we're gonna use. And at the end, I'll put the recipe up. Stick around. Well, she's cooking down and smelling really good in here in the house. You can smell the clove in it. We just got to cook her down till she's the thickness that we want. But uh, we already took a little bit out and tasted it. And it's uh, sweet with a little bit of heat because we threw in uh, garlic and a Hungarian hot pepper. And it didn't say about getting rid of the seeds, and I don't care about eating the seeds. Oh, my. Well, she's cooked down to just about half of what it was. I am going to let it go a little longer and thicken a little more. I want it a little more thick. But I have been sampling it. Them flavors are coming along pretty good. So the recipe that it has, uh, we added some garlic and a Hungarian hot pepper. and I think it just got a good flavor. It's got like a, a sweet flavor, but it has a little bit of heat. So it's sweet and heat. We got the jars in here, starting to bring them up to temperature. So they don't uh, break when we pour this hot ketchup in them. But yeah, it, I'm gonna say it takes several hours to cook this down to get it the right consistency. So when uh, when I'm happy with how thick it is, I'm gonna uh, jar it up and put it in the steamer and steam can it. And it only takes 10 minutes once the steamer's up to temp. Yep, Tammy's getting the jars filled up here. Yeah, they're a little hot there, woman. Keeping it good and stirred. It said reduce it by half. Well, it's a little more than halfway reduced. We'll get them jarred here and wipe the rims. Get the flats and bands on them. And I'll put them in the steamer. Okay, Tammy's getting the bands and the flats on them. And I already got two on the steamer. But the way this thing works is this lower pan has this metal rack. And you fill the water up just to the level of the rack. 
and then the lid slips down over the jars and the steam builds up. There you have it. Got the lid on and when this little red needle gets up into this green, we'll start our time for 10 minutes. Because that's all it calls for is 10 minutes. I'll show you it when we get it out. Okay, this is the book we got the recipe out of. Published back in uh, 1963. Now here's the recipe. It calls for dead ripe tomatoes. And they say use white vinegar and spices in thin white cloth. We use cheesecloth. But there are 48 medium tomatoes, about 8 pounds. Two ripe sweet red peppers, two sweet green peppers, four onions, three cups vinegar, three cups sugar, three tablespoons of salt, three teaspoons of dry mustard, half a teaspoon of ground red chili, one and a half teaspoon whole allspice, one and a half teaspoon whole cloves, and uh, one and a half teaspoon broken stick cinnamon, quarter tomatoes, remove stem ends, Add peppers, seeded and cut in strips, and onions peeled and quartered. Mix, put vegetables in blender, filling three quarters full, blend at high speed four seconds, pour into large kettle, repeat until all vegetables are blended. Add the vinegar, salt, sugar, salt, dry mustard, red pepper, and the remaining spices tied loosely in a clean, thin white cloth. Simmer on covered, in a slow oven, 325 or electric saucepan till volume is reduced one half. Remove the spices. You pour it into hot jars. Adjust lids, process water bath for 10 minutes. Remove jars, complete seals. Makes approximately five pints. But we, we cooked it in a heavy bottom kettle right on top of the stove. And uh, we added some... Uh, garlic and some Hungarian hot peppers and it's got a sweet flavor with a little mild uh, heat to it come out really really good and I'll show it to you here when I take them out all righty there she is out of the steamer and these lids most of them already popped down yep our homemade ketchup and we modified the recipe a little bit all right well thanks for watching like what you're seeing sub up